All right, now that you've gotten out of bed, the next thing you're going to do, of course, is move around. W is forward, S is backward, A and D kind of strafe your left and right. And, of course, the mouse moves around. Again, you can hold F, you can look around, you can open drawers, you can do a lot of different things with it. Uh, the, being that you start out of most of these rooms, of course, there's a lot of things you can kind of play around with. Right here, you can see a gun cabinet, which you can actually put some guns in, which I don't necessarily recommend right now because... One, you don't have a way to get back in this room once you leave unless you log out and restart. And even then, I can't guarantee it's there. You can put those in your ship when they happen. Now, here I've hit F4. That way, you can kind of go into kind of an over, over the shoulder. You can also hit F4 again, and it brings you a little bit farther back. Holding down Z will let you look around like what I'm doing here. So, from here, let's head out of the room. Of course, holding down F, go to the open door. And we're in the main little kind of hotel area. You can see some of New Babbage here. You'll get a much, much better view from, of course, outside once we're out at the starport and everything. So let's head down the hallway, look around the elevator, make our way down there. Take another real quick look out at the backside of New Babbage. Get close to the elevator, hold down F, call the elevator, and just wait for it to arrive. Once we get or once the elevator arrives, go ahead and climb in, go over, look for your floor, hold down F, of course, there's something I'll get to in a minute, but hold down F, look for your floor, in this case, we're going to go down to the lobby, so go all the way down to where it's got the lobby, click on it, and you will go down. Once you're at the lobby, of course, you're going to want to move around from here. Just head out. Uh, you can kind of see from this area, it's kind of your main little lobby area. You've got the hospital here. Uh, whenever you die, if your main spawn point is New Babbage, that's where you'll be. From here, we're going to go down the stairs. We're going to take the first right and get down the next step. Now, when you get here, you're going to have two options. You can go left to the spaceport, you can go right to the commons. The commons is where you can go by armor, weapons, things like that. We'll come back to that later. We're going to go over to the spaceport first and go ahead and get our ship. That way we can kind of learn how to do some movements around in your ship, things like that. So let's head over there now and see what we've got. And, of course, miss the tram, which happens a lot. And... We'll just not worry about the comments. We'll come back to that later. Okay. So, from here, you've got a few different controls you can do. You can hold down F. You can right-click. Hey, you all can see down on the bottom left down here, you have your health, your O2, your heat, your drug levels, your food, water, your overall body condition and everything. So, those will come into a lot of effect, especially now the drug content, of course, you've got the medical system. You can overdose on drugs. Basically, you can, of course, lose all your O2, you lose your health, it'll die. And you definitely don't want to do that if you can help it. Now, the rest of this, you do have a few different things you can do here. You can, of course, wipe your helmet. You've got a lot of little kind of quick tabs you can go through. You can go into your personal inventory from here. You can also bring it up and you can do some different emotes. You can hit I to bring up your personal inventory as well. But let's go into some different actions here. You've got some player actions. You can go prone, you can wipe your helmet, you can emote, you can unequip your helmet, which I don't think is working properly right now. But you can equip weapons, which where we're in a in a town basically you can't really pull out a weapon on it, but you can open up your map, your comm link. You can go back in a player. or we'll go to emotes. You've got like five different pages of emotes. And there's a lot of different things you can do here. Like I said, I used a few. They end up being on your quick actions tab. So once you start getting used to them, they're going to end up on your quick actions tab for the most part. So use most of the ones you normally will, will be there. That way you don't have to worry about anything. You should be able to change them at some point. I don't think that's actually possible at the moment other than just having them there. But once you get off the tram, you're going to go down, make your way into the starport. 
once you get off the elevator, there's a quick little run you go through. Just follow this little corridor. You're going to go all the way through the security. These will be definitely more for different types of gameplay, for, for smuggling stuff, anything like that. Once you get in the security, you're going to come up to this big bay window, which not the best view right now where it is night, but at daytime, you can see pretty much the whole city of New Bat, which is a very, very nice place. To your right where your actual hangars and stuff are, where you'll find your ships. On the other side, you can actually go to a little store. You can do rentals, things like that, buy some food, buy water. So go to the terminal. Let's go ahead and retrieve our ship. And it's going to show us where it's delivered at. Hangar number three. We're going to back up using S because you, if you hit escape, it's not going to work. We're going to go to one of the elevators. We're going to wait till it comes up. We're going to go up down to hangar three. And then we're going to get on it. Now, one thing you have to watch for, you can kind of see there, right now, sometimes elevators don't show. So you may have to go back, hit the button again. Don't go out into the elevator. Wait till the door closes. Bring it up. Or open it up again. Then go in. I've done it before. You run in. It doesn't, may not necessarily take you where you want to go. So, once you get off the elevator, you're going to be in your hangar. You can go down and see your ship course it's different ships are going to be much much different on it this is the starter mr that you're going to get good little look around it and everything here so we're going to go up to it hold down f we're going to enter the ship once you're in the ship of course you do have some things here you've got your bed back here behind us which you can lay down in can log out from there if you're out in space or something or on another planet but we won't do it here we're going to go up to the captain's sheet go ahead and sit down in it again using f we're going to let everything come up the quick way to do it press r everything will come up now you do have an option here to hold down f you can hit flight ready and power on you can open the exterior you can unlock doors if there's other people in your party you can allow other people to come in just by unlocking your doors they can then open them but here we're just going to hit R. Now, you can press F11. You can bring up the comms channel. Go to your friends tab, and you'll see where you can contact New Babbage Spaceport. You can also hold down F, and if you've got the comms tab open on your MFDs here, multifunction displays, you can call from there. But you want to call them so that you can actually leave this. Now, there is an option here that you can bring up within all the key bindings. Go to options, we'll go up here to key binding. And there's a lot of controls for this game, so don't take that and like get scared of it. You're wanting to go down to advanced. You're gonna to go to flight and you're gonna to go to movement. And at the bottom of this little list, you can actually go and you can change at request landing. I've already got set mine set to the minus key. That's one of the few keys that is not used. That way you can just quickly press minus on your keyboard and it'll automatically contact for both landing and taking off. So it makes it a lot easier. So hit spacebar to kind of shift up a little bit. W to move forward. You're going to leave the port. N will bring up your landing gear. But from here, you're going to use the mouse. You'll kind of gradually go up a little bit. Hold down. We'll go, uh, of course, face down. Now, to get up a little bit faster, me, myself, I like to hold down space bar while I'm actually using W to go up in the air a little bit quicker. You can also use your thruster, which is your shift key. Um, space bar is just kind of your vertical lift. Uh, control will actually go down. So it kind of gives you a good roundabout. Now, A will strafe left. D will strafe right. Q will spin to the left. E will spin to the right. I'm not really going to go into a lot of detail here on it. I'm just going to kind of move around, give you kind of a quick overview. Now, the same thing with your third person and over the shoulder views. You can hit F4 here and hold down Z and you can look around at your ship and get a good kind of a third person view of that. Now, I'm just going to head back in here. We're going to re-land. Of course, call the uh, spaceport using F11, use your MFD or hit in this case, I press minus to go to get the call back up. 
fly into the door. Normally there's going to be a little blue circle with an arrow on it, and you have to see that first person. Fly to that door, go in, press in, put your landing gear back down. You can also hold down in when you're inside, and it'll actually auto land for you, making it a little bit easier. So that way, if you're not too comfortable with landing or anything yet, you can do that and make it a lot easier now. From here, press either Y to get out of the ship. Once you're out of the seat, hold down F. Go to exit this exit right. This ship actually can go exit left or right on. And climb out of your ship. And that's all you have to do for this one. So I will see you in the next one. And we'll kind of go a little bit more into some contracts and missions. Thanks.